Hi, my name is Jasmine and I am a recent graduate of California State University, Long Beach. And today I will be interviewing Bryson Bolton. Bryson is a manager of sensory and sample collection at Synergy Flavors. Bryson is also a member of IFT. IFT stands for Institute of Food Technologists. IFT's mission is to advance the science of food and its applications across the global food system. Hi, Bryson. How are you doing today? Hello, Jasmine. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. So, what initially drew you to the science of food as a career path? Okay. Well, I'm uh, from Chicago, and Chicago, Illinois, and I went to Chicago High School of Agricultural Sciences. And at that high school in particular, there were five career pathways. There was agricultural finance, there was horticulture, there was animal science, there was agricultural and mechanical and technology, and then there was a field called food science. And so then during my freshman or sophomore year, I took a food science course. Um, after that, um, I had an internship, actually a summer scholars program sponsored by the USDA at Alabama a and University wow. doing food science uh, research, doing product development and uh, sensory research there. And so that was, that's, that was the initial foundation that led me into the uh, uh, food science and sensory science career path. Wow. Awesome. And was that in high school? Yes, it was. Oh, it was okay. So wow. I was introduced to uh, food science and different agricultural careers uh, and back in high school. Wow. Okay. And was that a, a special high school or? Yes, it is. It is. Uh, it's actually the last farm in Chicago. Um, it's oh. built on, I think, about. 27 acres they had um i don't remember now from all, everything about high, from high school but there was a farmland there you could do uh, animal science research um but for myself i studied uh back then i was more so in ag finance okay awesome that's a really great opportunity because i feel like um you know at a traditional high school i don't mm -hmm. think you really get to explore those options that are like that are tailored so specifically to mm -hmm. those fields so that's a great thing that you were able to figure out what you wanted to do straight out of high school yep yep it yeah. was it was it was a great opportunity for me to uh learn um and grow uh and and also solidify what i wanted to do long term okay great mm -hmm. and so you kind of already touched on it um but um what high school courses touched on that or mm -hmm. college courses have you found to be the most applicable or important for your occupation? Well, I think first would be the intro to uh, food science. Okay. Um, I took that course actually twice. I took it in high school and I also took the same course uh, during my freshman year of college. And there was an opportunity for me to really get a basic foundation into the different areas in food science because food science is a very multi -dis multidisciplinary field that encompasses okay. Uh, food microbiology, food chemistry, product development, uh, sensory science, um, different different uh, career paths and different particular fields that all yeah. fall under the food science umbrella. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so how did you engage with IFT or Feeding Tomorrow, the foundation of I IFT, as a student or a new professional? Okay. Well, actually, I started within the um, IFTSA, which is the Institute of Food Technologists Student Association. Um, okay. There, from, from that foundation, was a, um, I was a part of the Food Science Club um, back in undergrad, where I ended up being like the treasurer of the Food Science Club. And so that, that, that allowed me to, um, to really get a really good understanding of how an organization works, um, it get me it, it allowed me to have a leadership uh, opportunity within yeah. the food science club as well and so from there i i think i, I applied to a iftsa scholarship during my freshman year of college <clears throat> and actually won the scholarship i uh, wasn't really wow. even sure about what iftsa uh, and well i guess ift stood for mm -hmm. but it was after the scholarship that I applied to, that's when I started doing further research. And, so, and I found out, wow, this is a really cool organization. I would like to become more active in the um, uh, organization as well. So it, it really, as a student, it, there, there was a lot of scholarship opportunities. And then 
Right. And the scholarship opportunities allowed me to apply for internships um, right. into, into different companies and also at different universities as well. Great. Okay. So club involvement, definitely mm-hmm. that's good advice for anyone in college. Well, then it wasn't uh, just the, I guess, becoming a member. It was also trying to seek out a leadership opportunity. Uh, within mm-hmm. the club. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Okay. So um, food science is a very interesting mm-hmm. field. So can you describe to someone who has no idea, you know, what your typical work day entails? Okay. So when I, when I said at first that food science is a very multi, multidisciplinary field, um, I, I am in one aspect of that field called sensory right. science. And mm-hmm. so sensory science is the scientific discipline used to do four things, um, evoke through an experiment, measure, analyze, and interpret human response data based upon the five senses. So you think about your five senses as far as um, sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. Um, Mm -hmm. My particular background uses different sensory methodologies that I employ based upon a specific objective. So let's say if you wanted to determine whether what's the difference between um, two different products, let's say Pepsi versus Coke, right? You mm. know, uh, Coke might have a more of a, more of a caramelic um, uh, flavor, while Pepsi might have more of a basic taste, sweeter, sweeter profile. Okay. So being able to, for one, describe um, the difference between two different products, right. being able to determine whether or not a difference exists between different products, and then also to ask, uh, consumers whether they like or dislike a particular product as well oh okay and obviously that's very important yes for, yeah okay yep. wow that's awesome yep. okay so uh, what is one aspect of this career that people wouldn't wouldn't expect um, they wouldn't expect um, well I, I guess you would say that because I, I, I am a sensory scientist the assumption is that uh i'm a great uh cook you know oh. uh, <laughs> that's, I, that's i think me. that's with anything within any food scientist they, they okay. can people just, just assume that they're a, an amazing chef but yeah and re- in reality uh we're, we're all scientists and so uh, yeah. we know how foods uh, come together uh, mm-hmm. different different uh, ingredients come together and then what that particular product would have, I guess, along the, along the entire shelf life of the product right. as well. Right. Okay. Great. So um, you already touched on this, but is there any other way that your uh, participation in IFT or Feeding Tomorrow has impacted your career success? Okay. Well, right, currently I'm a third year um, board member. And so I was looking okay. to the board about two to about, about two and a half years ago, and being on the board has it's been it's, it's been a great great experience for me. It's, it's allowed me to really understand the how a massive organization, a nonprofit organization, um, is, is structured, and then what 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 it takes to actually keep the program to keep the organization going as well. So, okay. um, IFT, uh, we're we're in ninety five countries. We have over. I think about 19,000 members um, all across the entire world where mm-hmm. there are food technologists, food scientists, food application um, uh, technologists as well uh, to be able to come together um, annually um, at the IFT annual meeting and expo to be able to share knowledge about what, what, are, the, what are the new cutting edge things that are mm-hmm. going to um, help this help the entire world move forward right okay wow great so um is there any um words of wisdom you have for someone considering this occupation at all sure well i would always say you really want to identify a mentor uh Mm -hmm. whether whether that's looking at your current network uh and trying and reach out to your network and say, hey, I want to be a food scientist. Do you know anybody that's in that particular field? Or, hey, I want to be a sensory scientist. Do you know anybody in that particular field? 
that person might not know someone, but that person might know someone else that might know someone else to help identify um, someone that will help you, you know, guide you along that path. Yeah, well. definitely. So, so once yeah. you identify those mentors, uh, then you, I would say, um, to try to seek out an internship as well. Okay. Yeah, that's all great advice because – um, usually a lot of our interviews, they, you know, they recommend making connections. Mm -hmm. That's a great way to get started in any field. Mm -hmm. But um, something that isn't really touched upon is getting a mentor, which is mm -hmm. what you stated. And I think that is really true because yep. they can help you in, in ways that you didn't even think were possible. You know, it's not even just a connection. It's just someone to go to support. And if you have any questions, mm -hmm. they could you know, answer it for you and just be there for you. Mm -hmm. so, yep, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Bryson. Um, not only did I learn a lot, but I'm sure a lot of people watching this mm -hmm. are going to be, you know, very thankful to have this information if they're considering this field or if not, um, you just offered really solid advice. All so right. Thank well, thank you for being here today. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for your time as well. Yeah, of course. So thank you for watching this episode of Q Career. Go to the QCurl website to learn more about IFT and how they can help you with your career development. Until next time, have a great week. Mm -hmm.